Do you want to know the secret to losing weight? I'm Brett Schur, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and we have a guide on our website at dietdoctor.com simply titled How to Lose Weight, and it's got 18 points on how to lose weight. 18? Yeah, 18. There's no one secret on how to lose weight, let's face it. But there are certain things you can put in place that are going to make you more likely to lose weight. Now, wanting to lose weight is the number one reason why people come to our website at dietdoctor.com, but as a cardiologist, weight loss is not my focus. As a clinician taking care of patients, health and happiness and longevity um, and be living the life you want is my focus. But frequently, the things that help those goals will also help with weight loss, but they're not always one in the same. So my first question for anybody who wants to lose weight is why you want to lose weight. So if that's you, ask yourself why you want to lose weight, because it's important to know. And I want to make sure that people are losing weight in a way that is good for their health, right? There's the old saying that you could um, go on a drug binge um, and end up losing weight, but that's not healthy for you. Okay. I don't find that very helpful necessarily, except that to, to, to stress the point that not all ways of losing weight are healthy. You want to lose weight in a way that loses predominantly fat mass, helps you maintain or build lean muscle mass, and improves most of your health markers, and has you feeling good, right? And it has to be logistically something you can do. It has to be something you enjoy so you can stick with it. And that's part of the problem we got into with this recommendation of a low-fat diet. Not that a low-fat diet can't work for some people, but for anybody who finds it difficult to do and unpleasing to do um, and creates hunger, it's not going to succeed, right? And second, let's do it in a way that is healthy for you. So our first recommendation in our guide is eat low carb. Again, it's not the one diet for everybody that's going to help you lose weight. But goodness, if it is a diet that naturally restricts your calories, that reduces your insulin levels, um, and that has you feeling full and enjoying your foods, chances are it's going to help with weight loss. There are plenty of studies showing that low carb works for weight loss, especially if you stick with it. And so finding a way to make low carb work for you, to make low carb easy, that's what we're all about at Diet Doctor. And that's why it's our number one recommendation for how to lose weight. What you eat is important, but when you eat is also so important. We now have increasing evidence that as little as 14 hours of fasting a day, so eating within a 10 hour window, and fasting within a 14 hour window, that that can lead to significant weight loss, irregardless of what you're actually eating during that, that, that feeding period. So when you eat is also crucially important. So trying to space out your meals, trying to increase your fasting time, I think starting at 14 hours for just about everybody is the right way to do it. And then you can increase it from there if it works for your lifestyle. And if you're taking medications or have other medical conditions, obviously you have to be careful, but that's another, um, kind of easy factor to add on to eating low carb, spacing out your meals, time-restricted eating. Now, when you start out, um, that may be a little more a little more challenging when you start out to lose weight or start out on a low-carb diet because you do have to get in touch with your hunger cues. You want to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're not hungry. But when you don't have a good feel for your hunger cues, that can be challenging. So in the beginning, you may want to eat in a more patterned way. And then as you get more in tune with your hunger cues, then you can kind of get rid of the standard breakfast, lunch, dinner, and eat more when, when you're hungry, as long as logistically you can do that, right? I understand some people get a half an hour for lunch, and that's the only time you're going to be able to eat, so you don't get to choose. If that's you, okay, you got to work with that. The key is to not feel like you have to eat just because the clock says you do. Another one is avoid easy to overeat foods. And for the most part, if you're eating low carb, you're going to hit most of those. Um, you're going to get rid of most of those because they're the, the chips, the crackers, the candies, the things that you can just keep eating and keep eating and not even know you're doing it. But on low carb, nuts, cheese, and other dairies can um, kind, of, kind of fill that role of the hyper palatable food. So really try and limit um, those easy to eat foods. Include them in recipes, um, include them to increase taste. But if you start snacking on, on them on a regular basis, before you know it, that natural calorie reduction is going to be gone because you replaced it by these easy to eat and pretty tasty foods. Pay attention to what you drink. You know, lots of people drink coffee with just a little bit of cream, but they have five or six cups a day, it adds up. So what you put in your drinks and what drinks you have, those matter too. So pay attention to those. Stress less, sleep more. That's a big one on our list as well. You know, the 
more chronically underslept and overstressed you are, the higher your cortisol, the higher your adrenaline. Um, it's going to make you hungrier, raise your blood sugar and insulin levels, and you're going to make kind of decisions that aren't quite as good. You're not going to have the same decision-making powers to um, make good choices. Exercise as an adjunct to your diet. Don't don't exercise to lose weight, but exercise to help you lose weight in a healthy way. And sometimes exercising can stimulate hunger. So you have to be aware of that too. For some people, a high intensity workout, they're going to be starving afterwards. So prepare for it. Don't get off, don't, don't get caught off guard by that. So use exercise as an as a tool to help you lose weight with your diet. So those are just a few of the of the topics we cover on our guide, How to Lose Weight at DietDoctor.com. And also we have a weight loss for good course at DietDoctor.com for our members, which really walks you through this in more detail, gives you a lot of the background information um, and gives you some resources, including recipes and meal plans. So if you're looking for a great way to get started with weight loss, I highly recommend you try our weight loss for good course. And all Diet Doctor members get a 30-day free trial so you basically are getting that weight loss course for free for 30 days, which is a pretty good deal. So I highly recommend you check that out. Go to dietdoctor.com uh, for more information. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care and have a good day.